We come forward and speak to you now through our conduit, Magenta Pixie. We say to you that this information is of utmost import for the star-seeded aware individuals who have incarnated for Ascension Earth mission for your current Ascension cycle. The aware ones, truth seekers, wanderers, indigo crystal beings, and star seeds, and all those who stand within the flow of divine purity and knowing, are indeed the healers of humanity. They may not see themselves as healing beings or as healers, yet the form of healing presents itself in many ways. We could so too use words such as saviors or protectors, yet none of these words encapsulate who you are and what you are here to do. At this time, it is the creation of a canopy that shall shield humanity from the darkness that rains down upon them at this time. That is the calling for you. For those who responded to this call oh so long ago in your time frame. We speak to you now of cosmic immunity and that which you call Maxine. As pathogenic particles did present to you upon your planet, your telepathic union, created by the alchemical unification you naturally hold, perhaps understood by some of you as hundredth monkey effect, this telepathic union created the immunity needed to the influx of the pathogenic particles. This is the way it is for humanity within the natural organic template. It has been this way since the beginning of your known history and in even more strength, clarity, speed and symmetry in the time periods of Atlantis prior to infiltration and certainly within Lemurian realities. Despite the fact that the new pathogens released were of hybrid synthetic organic structure, still humanity reached the cosmic immunity, or what you may know as herd immunity, although we are speaking of the immunity grid within the non-physical matrices prior to the matching construction that takes place at the physiological level. This is an immunity of consciousness, if you will, created through telepathic union, and this action is non-locational. Maxine presented as antidote to hybrid synthetic pathogen, contains a genetic cocktail of organic hybrid matter and artificial intelligence codices that deliver instruction at the cellular level. To those who are unaware of their own mastery, or for those who have not stepped into that mastery, then these instructions will be read and potentially acted upon within the cellular structure. This takes place within the third and fourth dimensional levels of the cellular structure, so moves into the beyond the double helix configurations of what is known as junk DNA. This is, if you will, a rogue signal and creates fragmentation within the cellular system of the individual. This then radiates and replicates through the individual's biofield matrix and enters the overall signal that is broadcast at the cosmic level, as in the cosmic immunity, telepathic union that you know as hundredth monkey and creation of homeopathic energy field herd immunity. Therefore, all individuals existing within third and fourth dimensional consciousness will telepathically align or merge with the rogue signal as organic radiation of plasma light reaches outwards into the multidimensional field. Those who access fifth dimensional consciousness will find a clear and clean pathway for telepathic union. However, these individuals still exist within the third and fourth dimensions. Therefore, the fifth dimensional cosmic immunity, the light lattice immunity network, will be created and downloaded through the dimensional grid systems 
into humanity's physiological biology. Therefore, not every soul who remains within the third and fourth dimensions, unable to reach the fifth, will become fragmented within their signal if they are receptive to fifth dimensional energy broadcasts. Yet those who are not receptive, who cut themselves off from this higher dimensional plasmic flow, will draw that rogue signal into their reality energetically and potentially physiologically, regardless of having taken the vaccine or not. The antidote to this fragmentation of humanity's collective immunity lies therefore in spiritual activation, kundalini raising and merkaba light shielding. A new immunity is thus created. A new plasma immunity at the collective level that has not been created upon your planet before, even at the times of Atlantis and Lemuria. This is an immunity matrix that contains codices to neutralize and redirect the rogue artificial intelligence system that now, in your current now time, enters your third dimensional and fourth dimensional grid matrix. This is the most intense hijacking that has occurred upon your planet thus far. As we said, you now enter your most challenging times upon your planet. Yet so too did we say, you enter your most connected times. The New Earth Organic Human Template Grid sustains and thrives as a fifth dimensional plasmic light lattice immunity code created by those who are in direct connection with higher dimensional intelligence and emotion. This grid permeates through the fourth and third dimensions and into the biofield matrices of the receptive individuals. Those who are receptive to this light grid will be maxine free and open-hearted. There will also be those who did take the vaccine whilst already plasma light activated that will be able to rewrite the DNA code and override the rogue signal, yet these individuals are most rare. The vast majority of those who are able to download the new immunity plasma light grids into their fields will be maxine free and will not align with the Maxine Rogue Code. This occurs at the fifth dimensional level, each time you network there within telepathic union that is alchemical unification. The Rogue Codex cannot penetrate the event horizon barrier of the fifth dimension. This plasma immunity begins to build in your current now time as you move into the true new year of 2021, which is your March equinox point. This new plasma consciousness immunity is in its early stages of creation. And during such a time of new birth, the organic open-hearted humans are sensitive and potentially vulnerable to the rogue signal. There will be those extremely sensitive souls amongst you who feel, see and hear this rogue signal within and around others who have allowed Maxine into their body-mind. This, as all negatively polarized fields are, is a global catalyst for awakening. It is a global catalyst for light body activation and a global catalyst for evolution. However, it is an infiltration and a hijacking with a major black box program at its core. The antidote for this, within the workings of the fifth dimensional plasma light lattice, that is the new cosmic immunity, is the golden flame, the silver flame, and the rose gold flame. These, as well as other rainbow flames, the blue flame, the violet flame, the white flame, and the blue white flame, are to be utilized as you connect with others of like mind and like heart as you come together in organic telepathic union. 
This is new earth, and within this environment, you are free to allow your higher matrix biofields to merge as you interact in love, closeness, joy, and intimacy with your fellow brothers and sisters of light. This you do automatically. You have always done so automatically as your pineal glands, thyroids, hearts, and other organs within your energetic system connect and merge with other fellow humans as you meet them, interact with them, touch them, communicate with them, and love them. So too does this happen at the telepathic level, for you are one soul, one race, one mind, one heart. Together, you create the planetary logos for Earth. Yet no longer shall humanity be able to do this in this way. For those with the rogue signal cannot reach these heights of bliss, ecstasy, and euphoria. Their DNA is unable to raise and spin into warp speed needed for transcendent integration and stargate ascension. This is the choice that humanity has made at the time of the great bifurcation. There will be those who move into ascension and those who do not. It is not the Maxine per se that is the physical counterpart to this. It is the rogue signal created by the Maxine at collective level. Therefore, there will be those who remain Maxine free who still make the choice not to ascend, as they replicate the energetic rogue signal throughout their fields through interaction at the third dimensional and fourth dimensional levels with their fellow humans. It is the fifth dimension where the antidote is to be found. The protection and merging with the rose gold flame and the rainbow flames and all that you utilize in order to create the group soul logos divine princess aurora the collective consciousness of the aware ones those who reside within the fifth dimension yet we say to you now that each of you will exist also within the fourth and the third dimensions therefore when you exist in those dimensions you now learn to master your energy fields Many of you will have worked at energy field mastery for many of your earth years and for multiple lifetimes to prepare you for this time. There are the dragon riders and the flame bearers who create the new plasma cosmic immunity templates for humanity. These are the ones who preserve humanity at all costs for the human genome of earth will be preserved through positive polarization and service to others' frequency. For those individuals who have not yet created a template for energy field work or have constructed a template of divine architecture to be utilized now in your now time, we draw your attention to an advanced energy field work technique that one can utilize when existing within the third and fourth dimensions and wish to shield themselves from the rogue signal that currently fragments humanity's immunity codes and distorts the herd immunity you had achieved. We speak here of a technique that is utilized by those of negative polarity, yet this technique can be used safely by those of positive polarity who are fully connected within the fifth dimensional reality via a strong and focused vertical axis, the vertical pillar of light. We speak here of working with the black flame. This is utilized for cleansing and protection. It is a space of reset and is to be used by a positive polarized individual on an intermittent basis. The majority of incarnation experience of the ascending one will be working with the rose gold flame and the rainbow flames. 
These are flames of radiation. Yet also, so too, they are flames of unification and grid work. The canopy of protection that is being placed across humanity at your current now point is a light lattice made up of these plasma light flames. Yet within the third and fourth dimensions, these are seen as the black umbrella, if you will, connecting together as individualized hexagonal points, hexagonal geometry fields, to create the protective canopy and thus the antidote that shall allow you to thrive and flourish as you create new earth in all its wonder and glory. In this interim period, as new earth and new plasma immunity is created, you may come into contact with one individual or with a group of individuals who are holding the rogue code. If this should occur, then radiating upwards into the higher light flames is not your only option. Advanced energy workers can do this. Other techniques involve neutrality and invisibility, such as the purple flame or purple cloak. Yet so too, the option to absorb rather than radiate is available as a protective technique. This would be absorption of self, not of other. And the utilization of the black flame is a visualization technique that can assist you. This is a retreat into a cave energetic movement, if you will, that puts you in disguise from that rogue code. It is deeply cleansing and gives the same benefits as the utilization of black crystals, such as obsidian, tourmaline, onyx and hermatite. This frequency, that of the underworld rather than the overworld, is not negatively polarized or within service to self if used with an open heart and the intention, the focused intention of shielding, safety or protection, if you will. It is grounding, anchoring, deeply cleansing, protective and is a reset, a reboot, if you will. It is a technique to utilize at intermittent times when interaction with an individual or group of individuals who hold the rogue code takes place. There are other techniques you can use, such as placing a mirror all around your fields to deflect codes coming your way, or to call upon the dragons, the wolves, or other power animals to assist you. However, the rogue code is a relentless replicator and in order to transmute this code and remain within the natural organic human template biofields, then there are methods of mastery over one's fields one can utilize. One of these methods of mastery is the black flame. As we have said, this is advanced esoteric work. It is the work of the hermetic magician who creates the powerful seal. Your fields cannot replicate the rogue code if you are predominantly fifth dimensional in your expression and existence. And you utilize these energetic visualization tools, such as the black flame, when existing and interacting within the third and fourth dimensions. The black flame is an override system this is of most import to understand and comprehend. We repeat, the black flame is an override system. It is a reboot. Just as you would not wish to reboot your technological devices all the time, you do not need to reboot your energetic matrix all the time. This is a technique of high mastery to be utilized when needed. In order to assist your physical body to download the new plasma immunity codes, then we would suggest working with all these flames, black, white, and all colors along the rainbow spectrum 
including the silver, gold, and rose gold flames. Accompanying the framework with archetypal hero imagery, such as the Excalibur Sword of Truth, the unicorn, the lion, the rose, the dragon, the trinity symbols, such as the Infinity Eight sign and the Triquetra, all hold their places within the development of new earth plasma cosmic immunity, for these are DNA codes, DNA language, and DNA messengers. They are scripts which show the DNA how to act and move and construct. Your very soul is intertwined with this light language, for the DNA is your soul. It is your guidance system, and it is source consciousness, or God, if you will. It is the roadmap to ascension. The rogue signal as black box intention is to scramble the light language code and prevent organic evolution and ascension. But it cannot reach the fields of the fifth dimension. For those of you who have been preparing for this time, you already have hardwired into your DNA matrix the information override system, and this rogue code cannot infiltrate you. You are simply immune from this. However, utilizing the flames as tools is a most wise move for the navigator of the dimensional worlds, if you will. Crystals will also assist you, and each crystal has left its birthplace deep in the earth to find you and align with you and work with you. We hear the call that the healers have regarding working upon those with the rogue code within. Your calling is indeed to assist these individuals, for they shall come to you in high numbers. You have been trained, you have been prepared, and you have all the knowing you need to proceed. The black flame and utilization of all higher code tools can be utilized, such as aromatherapy essences, Himalayan bathing or saltwater immersion, and superfoods and other nourishments that hold the codes of moonlight and sunlight within. Yet none shall assist you more than connecting with your tribe. Each of you who do not hold the rogue code, who do not stand in resistance to Maxine, but choose not to align with Maxine in your reality, you shall connect together. And there you shall find your healing, your salvation, your new immunity. And indeed therein shall you find and create new earth. This begins now in your current now time, at the time of the March equinox, the true new year in your now time you call 2021. Stand strong within your divine architecture, spinning your fields into the light of the fifth dimension and the path to freedom, health, connection, unity and divinity is yours. We are the white-winged collective consciousness of nine. What is karma? Are there ways we can balance this and become karma free? Is there a particular nutritional plan we should follow for ascension? Do we increase our karmic balance by eating certain foods? How can we utilize sex magic to work with karma and move through ascension? There are many lessons we can learn from the peoples of ancient Lemuria a civilization that existed before our known history on planet Earth. As we move through an ascension process collectively, we move back into a new Lemuria, and we take with us all the knowledge we have accumulated since those times. 
In this transmission from the white-winged collective consciousness of nine, key codes are presented for cellular memory recall, linking the reader beyond Atlantis and into the harmonious frequencies of the first physical civilization on the Earth, Lemuria. The nine respond to questions using the Lemurian way as a template. Key coded responses trigger activations within the reader as they receive the wisdom codes, standing as rainbow warriors of Gaia, moving into abundance, alchemy, and Stargate Ascension. This transmission is dear to my heart, and I'm so very pleased to announce my new book, Lessons from a Living Lemuria.